Good morning. Well, it's morning for me. I don't know when you'll be uh, uh, watching this video, but it is still morning time for me. So we are going to be going over page 305 and 306. 305, 306 today. Before we get started with more ABC order, I wanted to review a few things. The first was, um, the first was we're going to review sentences using, whether it's um, describing two things or more than two things. The Grand Canyon is blank than the Royal Gorge. Is deep, deeper, or deepest? Remember, when we're just talking about one, it would be deep. When we're talking about two things, it would be deeper. If we're talking about three or more, it's deepest. So the Grand Canyon, one thing, is blank than the Royal Gorge, two things. So the Grand Canyon is deeper than the Royal Gorge. That's what that would be. All right, let's look at the next sentence. We're gonna be talking about a and an, or a uh and an to use before a noun. It would be fun to take a or an helicopter ride to see the canyon. We would use a or an. Remember, a is used before a word that starts with a consonant, and an is used before a word that starts with a vowel. We, it would be fun to take blank helicopter. Helicopter starts with an H sound, H is a vowel or a consonant? It is a consonant. So you would use A. It would be fun to take a helicopter ride. I chose a souvenir. Careful, more careful, or carefully. I chose a souvenir. Careful, I chose a souvenir. More careful, or I so chose a souvenir carefully. A, B, or C. I hope all of you picked C. I chose a souvenir carefully. We're talking about, talking about there's more than one souvenir. There's more than two souvenirs. There's lots of souvenirs, so it would be carefully. Okay, now we are going to review um, ABC order. Remember that, I've got my papers mixed up here. Remember, a reminder that we'll put names of birds in ABC order, and these birds you might see in the, National, in the Yellowstone National Park, what we've been talking about in our worksheets. Now, um, let's look at the first set. Read them to yourself. Then, what do we do when we're doing ABC order? We do what? First thing, look at the first letter of each word. Bam, bam, bam. They're all different, so we don't have to worry about if there's any the same. These are all different. Now we have to think what letter comes first in the alphabet? The P, the S, or the L. Now, you, I hope you would say, the L would come first. L, M, N, O, P, so, Q, R, S, and that is the way you put it together. Let's look at the next set. Read those words. Also, some of these you may not know what they look like, so your parents can help you look up pictures of them um, and look and see what each of these birds look like that are in the Yellowstone National Forest. That would be great. You might even now, um, since we're doing all of this homeschooling things, uh, you might could take a visual or virtual, excuse me, virtual tour of Yellowstone National Park. Call it up on your phone or your iPad and you can tour and look around Yellowstone National Park just like you were walking through it. So that would be a great idea too. Now let's look at these three uh, birds. Read them. Hawk, heron, stork. Now we have two of the same letter. What do we have to do? We have to look at the second letter. But first we have to ask ourselves, does H come before or after S? H comes 
before us. So we don't worry about this word. We just look at these two. We have an A and an E. Which one comes first in the alphabet, A or E? I hope you said A because A is the first letter of the alphabet. Then we just put a two here because that's the next. We still have to go by the H's, put all the H's together, and then Stork would be the last one. So it was actually already in order for us. We didn't know it till we figured it out. All right, let's look at the next set. Read them out loud. Okay, we have Sandpiper, Snipe, and Pigeon. We have two words that start the same, but we have to determine whether S comes before P in the alphabet. So let's do our alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. So pigeon will come first. Now we look at the second letter of the S. Which one comes second? The, I mean, which one would come before each other, A or N? It would be the second word in this. It would be sandpiper, and then it would be snipe, okay? Now, let's look at our paper. In section one, remember, an adjective is a word that describes a noun. It often answers the questions, what kind and how many, or how many. Read the paragraph. Circle the adjectives for the underlined nouns. Draw a small arrow from the adjective to the nouns they describe. You have to do two things. Circle the adjectives. Draw arrows. Some of you are forgetting to circle or draw arrows, and I have to count points off. So please remember to do the both things in section one. Circle the adjectives and draw the arrows. The first sentence is done for you. My family visited many interesting places in Yellowstone National Park. Places is underlined, so it is the noun. Interesting, what kind of place? It's interesting, and how many? Many, so we would circle it and we would draw our arrows. Some of them will have two, so you have to look very carefully, okay? Let's look at the next sentence. We saw bubbling geysers, smoking fumaroles, fumaroles and several hot springs. There's three words underlined. What is describing geysers? What kind or how many? Bubbling, so you would circle and then draw your arrow. And then there's two more that you can do. Do the rest on your own. Declarative, imperative, interrogative, and exclamatory. You have to read the sentences and decide which one they are. The last video that I did, we went over the different types of sentences. So if you need to go back and look at that to remind yourself, you can. Skip dictation. Adverbs, you're gonna write an adverb for each verb. Run how, run quickly, run sloppily, run um, happily, something describing run. So you have to use a word that describes these words. Read the sentences, circle the adverb for the underlined verb. They're giving you the verb, their adverb is there. So circle it, that's all you have to do. Section three, nighttime in Yellowstone Park is the perfect time to see lots of stars. The sky may seem so full of stars that there's no more room. Color the star next to the name of the star that comes first in ABC order. So you have to look at the three words and uh, color in the star that comes first. Write an adjective for, if this is section four, sorry. Write an adjective for each noun that tells what kind or how many. And it has a paragraph and you have to fill in what kind or how many of the um, adjectives to describe nouns. So that is 305, 306. I'll see you on the next video. Work hard, write neatly. I love you.